I'm very happy to be living in, uh, it would be called fair share housing. Uh, it's the men property, Morristown Ecumenical Neighborhood Development. And they have the uh, disability and senior citizen places, which I like. They also do have for families, though, that are uh, actually have children that are on low income. But uh, it's kind of tough for some of us seniors who, I was never married, and so uh, I kind of went from one job to another, ended up with RCA about 13 years. So the pension wasn't that much, and it made it that I had to look for something if I wanted to be comfortable in good housing. And uh, I was lucky because over at my church in Palmyra, at Fourth Methodist Church, someone had seen an advertisement for uh, men that they were just building a brand new 26 apartment at Pearl and Linden Street in Morristown. And it was funny because somebody said to me, you can't live in Morristown, you don't have enough money. <laughs> And I said, well, these people are supposed to be low-cost housing. And so I did put in an application, and they called me. I was way, way down on the list, way down, because they do it by lottery. There were about 300 applications. I was about 70th. But they called me one day, and they said, would you be interested in looking at a efficiency? Most people are one a one bedroom. And I thought, well, I had lived in a motor home for a little while. I don't think that would bother me in efficiency. And so I came to look at it. And when I came in, I said, I'd love to move in there. And so within about two months, I was called and came into the men building. And as of November of this year, it will be 21 years that I've been with men. There were some people moved in who had problems, and I began to help them with their problems, which helped me to acclimate. And uh, it, it, within a very short time, I felt comfortable with living there. When, when anyone criticizes, or they'll say to me, you know, they really, they really don't pay attention to us. They put us in here and then just leave us. And I said, I don't think that's true. I think that if we let them know that we need something, so often you complain to another person, but you don't complain to the right person. And I've told them many times when they come to me and they'll say, you know, can't you do something about this? And I said, that's up to you because this is your home and if you want to make it comfortable for yourself, you need to get in touch with them with whatever you find is wrong. When it comes to a privilege, I, my father always told me, you vote because that's one of your privileges. And he also taught me to uh, analyze different people's views. And he said, you need to choose the best party and make sure that you let your voice be heard. And so oft times I get these, what are they called? Um, uh, when, you, when you fill out a form and tell what you think of the different ones, the surveys, and I always send them back. I always send them back because I think that's important too, to give them an idea that you're interested in what they're doing with, with our tax money, because actually some of men's buildings are taxed. We're one of the ones that are taxed. There's people that we would never realize uh, that really uh, they're out there. I see a lot of homeless people. I'm surprised that there's that many homeless people. I didn't realize that. Going over to Palmyra sometimes when I drive over to church and I see them and I think, what a difference in Morristown. You, I don't think I've ever really seen a homeless person 
on the Morristown streets. But going over toward Palmyra, Cinnamons, and Riverton, uh, you see them. And it's really sad that there can't be more organizations like this that, that try to involve the public. Uh, our legislators, the state, and it, it just seems like if, if they would make more of this, that there are people who need um, affordable housing, affordable, because I think it must be pretty tough today. If people criticize because the husbands and wives are both working. I don't know how they would make it if they weren't. It's really tough for people today. And that, you know, at my age, I realized that that didn't happen. Our parents stayed home. You know, the mothers usually stayed home. And uh, it made a big difference with the mother staying home. But then too, I, I certainly do feel sorry for those families that, that feel that they have to put the children in daycare and, uh, if, if you really don't have the money for that, there are some organizations our, with our church, we have what we call a mom's morning out. And I help to run that, because I like little children. Mm -hmm. And I go over and we kind of babysit them so the mothers can go shopping or whatever. And sometimes the daddies too. We don't do just the mommies. So uh, it's important that we that we keep heads up on this type of thing, that people, the economy is so bad right now. And uh, it, it really takes two people, I guess, to keep a place going. So we definitely need more places and fair share of things.